Uh, gonna grab the offensive rebound, goes back up strong. Gets the layup. Buries it. And he would throw it down to build on their lead. Too fast break Friday. He goes for three on the wing from deep. Is open in the corner. He hits a three. Hey, hey. Welcome to Fast Break Friday. It's week 13 for high school basketball, the final regular season week for boys who. Yeah, and we got 13 total games for you guys tonight. Plus, we'll be presenting our WNEM play of the night. In addition to that, we'll have a fun voting poll to think about. I like it, Cole. Well, lots of action to get to. Let's get started. Fast Break Friday Game of the Week, sponsored by the Saginaw Career Complex at Saginaw ISD. Freeland with a chance to win the TVC Red outright. John Glenn wanting to play spoiler. First half, Olivia, Oliver Masters driving in, gets to the rim. Number 14 had 14 points tonight. Falcons with a quick pass inside. Wilson Huckabee with the reverse layup. He had 12 points for the Falcons. Freeland was up early in the first half, but Sean Weselick knocks down the corner three. He had a team high 23 points. It was just a five point game at the half, but then the Falcons soar. Daniel Dooley down the baseline, threw that down. And then the dagger, Huckabee to Austin Cyber with the big time dunk a game high 34 points from him as Freeland defeats John Glenn 64 to 46 they clinched the Tri-Valley Conference Championship now let's transition to girls basketball where Goodrich is still undefeated the Martians were 20 and 0 entering tonight they met up with Flushing in the Flint Metro Conference Finals Goodrich gonna start out strong it's Alexis Kozmowski driving the senior gonna get it to go plus the foul for the and one the students loving that back come the Raiders they give it up to Alexis Woodback she drives and finishes the layup student section getting into it but Goodrich showing why they're undefeated Tanner Schramm drives and floats it up and in. Tough shot. Martians earn that trophy right there. 44-26 win and our Flint Metro League champions. Staying with girls basketball, Frank Moon has already won the TVC Red this season. The Eagles meet up with Garver tonight, but this game was about way more than basketball. Players, coaches, and many in attendance wore blue ribbons in honor of Christensen family who were affected by a car crash last week. Now to the game. Grace Benner would get the ball here as she drives past the Dukes and finds her way to the basket for two. Then Garber, Sierra Kelly gets open right here, puts up the mid-range jumper that drops into the net. Franken moves, Dakota Thompson gets the pass, spins and sees she's open, puts up the shot up and in. Eagles would win it 50 to 24. It's Powers Catholic Senior and Breast Cancer Awareness Night. The Chargers take it on Lapeer. Colleen Bredo gets the outlet pass. No one stops her, so she takes it all the way in for the layup. The Lightning going to strike back. Look at the passing. Sephora Miller to Lexi Norman to Madison Spenisky. She finishes the play, but Powers Catholic would start to roll. Kendall Smith on the break. Going to get into the lane. Nifty layup. There is the Chargers. Take down Lapeer, 58-16. Back over to our game of the week side. John Glenn hosting Freeland as we pick things up in the first quarter. The Falcons kick it out to Jenna Kowalski in the corner. She knocks down the triple. John Glenn now going to get it, and they got some nice passing as Kaylee Christensen tries for a three of her own, and she buries that one, and the threes would not stop flying in this one. Falcons are going to give it off to Carrie Kiefer. She was on fire tonight as she cashes in that three. Fast break now for Freeland, and Addie Seaman with a stop, turn, pivot, and the bank shot. Nice play there. The Freeland girls also picked up the win tonight, 52-27. to Our last girls basketball stop of the night, Swan Valley taking on Bertrand. This shot would be off, but Haley Gooch would get the board and put it back up and in for the Vikings. The Panthers play back and forth along Ayana Willis to take the corner three, and she drains it. But Swan Valley would answer back. Shaila Chavonet is wide open, and she splashes in the triple. And then a great drive down the base on Meredith Moltane to take a quick shot and drop it in. Bertrand wins it 48-39. Back over to Boys Hoops now. A Heritage with a chance tonight to win the Saginaw Valley League Conference outright. The Hawks on the road meeting up with Bay City Central. 
first quarter, and here comes the Mr. Basketball finalist, Tyler Odie off the fast break, and he gets the quick dunk for the Hawks. The Wolves are going to respond. Kevin Brown driving in, speeds towards the rack, and he lays it up and in for BCW. Heritage now going to find Braylon, I Braylon Isom crossing up defenders and getting buckets. Nice layup from Isom. Hawks are going to pass it around. Odie going to avoid a turnover here, and then he jacks up the three, and he knocks it down. Heritage takes down Bay City Western tonight, 70-41, to and win the conference outright.